Hey, I'm, I'm Brian Garrison with Stryker, and I'm here to in-service you on the new small battery drills, and that is what they will continue to be called, small battery drills. Um, you can see that they are in a different sterilization case now. It's a shallower, more compact, less wasteful space. Um, you have a top tray and a bottom tray. You'll see all of your attachments are in the top tray, and then your hand pieces are in the bottom tray along with the collet. The hand pieces are the same as what you're used to in terms of assembly, as far as blade mounting, and as far as uh, the placement of attachments. Also in that lower tray is the pin collet. You no longer have a wire collet and a pin collet. You have a universal one that does it all. There still is a small, medium, and large um, adjustment knob, which is operated the same way as the previous ones were. And then in the bottom tray uh, is a, um, a chuck key, which I'll, which I'll talk more about in a minute. So for right now, we can go over the attachments. You have drill attachments and you have ream attachments. Um, some of these drill attachments you're used to, you have the AO attachment, you have the Hudson Modified Trinkle. Now we have added the trinkle attachment. And we have three keyless chucks. No longer do you use a key for your drill chucks. They are keyless, which many people think makes things easier. And the way you do it is you just twist these, the, the ring and then the outer distal portion in opposite directions. And as you get to a point where you first meet resistance, you will I call them clicks and ticks. You will hear a click, and then you want to twist a little bit harder, and you'll get a one or two ticks, and that locks it down, and it will not come loose when you go in reverse. So to loosen it, you just go back. So I'll do it one more time. You put your device in, twist these in opposite directions, click, and then tick, and there you go. So again, you have two of these. You have a two quarter inch and then you have one five thirty seconds inch. One more drill attachment and this is new to the set and that is the T-latch attachment. The T-latch is used for the uh, mini frag sets. Another new attachment in here is a DHS attachment that will typically be used on TFNs. Big time saver. You have a ream version of the trinkle attachment, ream, drill, trinkle, and then you have a ream version of the Hudson modified trinkle, just like the one we just went over. Another addition to the set is the AO attachment, which typically would be used on Synthes um, flexible reamers. So you no longer would need uh, an attachment in the flexible reamer set, you would just be able to use this and it has all the torque built in that you need. And then you are familiar with this one. This is a, a Jacobs, uh, quarter inch Jacobs chuck uh, reamer, and that one is still keyed. So that's what the key in the set was for. The batteries, uh, you still have the choice of large and small. These look a little bit different. They're more robust. They have a 30 day shelf life after charging, but um, they are interchangeable. So you can use these on older drills, you can use the old batteries on the new drills. I'll backtrack, these are replacing your old small battery drills. So you now have 20 sets of these, which is way more than you've had. So you should never be challenged um, with turnover, etc. So to be clear, this will be your only small battery drills. Thank you very much.